Greetings, grasshoppers. Welcome to the bot signal. My name is RJ Red. Tuesday and Thursday, Wednesday too now, uh, at a different time, right here on this page, Black Belt Bots. From wherever you are watching this at, welcome. If you click the top link in the description, then you can join me right here, and I can see your comments as you make them and answer your questions. So please do that if you haven't done that. And boy, I'm so excited to talk to you all today, because today, exciting topic, another little feature that I want you to consider having in your bot, and that is audio clips. Yes, my friends, audio clips. You know that you can make video, you can make audio, you can make PDFs, uh, all sorts of graphics and images inside your bot. You can do the little GIFs and the GIFs. I'm calling them GIFs. Hard G for me. That's, that's my team. Anyway, you can put all sorts of things inside the bot, but audio really gets overlooked a lot. And so that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about why it's important. I want to give you a few ideas too as to how you might be able to use this in your broadcasts and in your sequences in the bot. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, so why? Why consider doing audio in your bot? It's sometimes, you know, I talk to clients all the time. Sometimes it's difficult just to get them to use the video, uh, just to get folks to go on video because they don't necessarily want to. They're, you know, a little shy. They're not sure they like how they look. A lot of us have that problem and I totally understand. So it's tough enough to get people to do video. Why would you bother to do audio? Okay, so first of all, audio is a it's a one of the fastest growing mediums out there right now. And here's the reason: people are super busy. Maybe people want to listen to what you have to say. Maybe people want to learn about what you're teaching about. It's just that they're busy. They need to also go work out. They need to also go walk the dog. They need to also go do the laundry. And a lot of times that's where people end up listening to listening to a lot of things, listening to podcasts, uh, listening to Facebook live broadcasts. In fact, uh, Teresa says she loves her podcast because it's awesome. And that's why you love it. Hello, Teresa. Good to see you. Thanks for thanks for commenting. Always nice to see you, uh, my friend. So a lot of people listen to voice as they're doing other things. A lot of people want to learn uh, on podcasts, on video clips, things like, or on, sorry, on audio clips, things like that. They want to do it, but they don't also want to have to watch something at the same time. So audio has become the new preferred format uh, for things like that. Running errands, doing things, driving in the car. Uh, audio is really the preferred format. And so why not take advantage of that trend and use a little bit of it for you. So first, that's the first reason to consider using audio inside your bot. Secondly, variety, my friends, let's spice up that bot, shall we? Uh, you know, putting, putting different stuff in there all the time keeps it interesting for your people, it keeps things, it keeps them kind of wanting a little bit more. And that's exactly the kind of feeling you want to create with a bot. Uh, Aaron says live is difficult, even when it's not new. Oh, that is absolutely true. Um, and, and it, it can be so difficult. Let me tell you what's cool about audio. Your hair doesn't have to be done. Not that mine's necessarily done right now. Uh, but uh, for audio, there's a lot less, you know, there's a lot more sometimes prep into what goes into it because people aren't worried what they look like necessarily. It's easier to, to, to create something audio wise. It takes a little less preparation on, on the, you know, what does everything look like front and more preparation on the content front. Uh, which is really good. I love variety in a bot. I love it when people vary what they're telling me, how they're telling me that thing. I love it when people try out new things because it's all, it's interesting. It doesn't get into a pattern. Here's the deal. If you are having a conversation with somebody and they don't find it interesting and then they find a pattern in it, they're gone. 
they're just you know what i'm saying like if i go to a, if i go to a movie or if i sit down and watch something on like regular tv or something if i can guess the plot in the first five minutes i'm done i gotta go do something interesting now you know what i'm saying and so varying these things up uh, varying up your delivery of what you're doing. You never know what's going to have ha cause a response. You never know when people are going to go, oh, that's exciting. It may be an audio clip. So, uh, hey, Roy Montero, psh, where have you been, my friend? Uh, I've seen you around a little bit, but I haven't ever seen, seen you. Uh, audio rocks, obviously, my friend. You would say that. So glad to see you on the show today, Roy. Good to see you. Barb says, smaller file sizes with audio. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. And that counts too, my friends. Lower propensity to corrupt and signal distribution across the internet. Smoke that one. LOL. Yes. Um, audio is audio's cool because it really is almost a little bit more intimate. Most of the time, people are listening to audio with their headphones on. Not when they're driving, hopefully, but other times, walking the dog, working out, doing the dishes, whatever. People kind of have headphones in. Your voice actually touches, it actually touches people you know, and people tend to bond with that. So that's why I'm so excited about using audio. Recently, I branched out into podcasting as well. You can catch the bot signal on uh, wherever you listen uh, to, to podcasts. And I did it because this is a format that I can, I can really kind of crystallize what I'm trying to say and get it out there very, very frequently for people because bots are so they're so big now, there's so, so much to them that there's so much information and nobody has time for that. Nobody's got time to sit down and watch a six hour video of me talking about this stuff. So why not 10 minutes a day in uh, audio? Why not? Uh, so anyway, um, very good. I just got off on a tangent there. Roy says, hey, I say hey back. Uh, very good. So, <clears throat> so how to use this. If you're considering, here's a couple ideas on how you can use this stuff. And as always, toss any questions you might have in the comments. I'll read them right here and I'll get to them immediately. So here's an idea. This is something that you can do with your phone. Boop. You can use on with your bot, you can use the Pages app, uh, the Facebook Pages app. It's the one with the orange flag. You can pop on there, read the people that, you know, you can kind of locate which page, which page your bot is attached to. And then you could go down the list of everybody in your bot and leave them a one minute voice message. Just a one minute check in. Uh, as I looked down my list today, I had some, I had some half hour AMAs, uh, with people yesterday. I was able to, uh, leave a little message just saying, Hey, thank you for spending your time with me. I was also able to look down the list and see people that have been very active here in these live streams. I was able to see people who have been uh, inactive for a long time and going down that list, looking at who I have there, seeing how they progressed in the bot or not progressed in the bot and either thanking them for participating, asking them what they want to hear next or asking them if there's anything that I can do to help their experience along a little bit. Super easy to just pick up this thing and leave people a one minute message. This does not need to be super edited. And in fact, it's not even possible. It's just communicating people with people through messenger. That's a really powerful thing, by the way. If people are halfway through a sequence, if people are working their way through your stuff and you leave a little bit of encouragement for people, Wow, that goes a long way. It goes a long way to humanizing your messenger bot as well, which is a topic we're going to cover in a couple of weeks uh, coming up here. Uh, but that's a really big thing because people, people know that that can't possibly be computer generated. You getting on saying hello. Uh, that is not possibly con computer generated. So Barb Ireland is here as well. Hey, Barb. Good to see you as well. 
So that is my number one, uh, how to get some audio into your bot. That is not even a broadcast. It's not even a mastered piece of audio. All that is, is just getting on talking to people, uh, about where they're at and seeing if you can help. Simple thing. Most people won't answer that message by the way, but everybody is going to feel seen and cared about. And that is exactly the response that you want to create. Um, okay. So here's another tip. Here's another idea of how you can use some audio in your bot. One is, uh, if you are a person who teaches a lot of classes, this is something that I got from my friend, Stephen Healy, uh, a BeLive master, uh, this guy. Uh, if you haven't seen Stephen yet, uh, please tune in any day of the week. You will find him on the BeLive in five page. Anyway, he was giving a, a little class on BeLive in five and I signed up for it. Um, because, you know, or, or sorry, the class was on BeLive. I signed up for it because, uh, I want to learn things and support. And so, he, the way that he delivered his class, and this was the class delivered uh, in Messenger Bot, he did a video uh, every day of the class, and right underneath it, he put the audio track. And I thought to myself, this is genius. Because sometimes people see that video and they go, I don't have the eyeballs for that. Uh, you know, I just don't have, I just don't have the bandwidth right now, but if I had an audio track, I could just push play, um, and, and kind of go with it. And so, especially if you are doing online courses and stuff, some people prefer just audio. Some people prefer to listen and learn. Some people prefer to watch and learn. Why not provide both? Why not give them both options? The bot is, and I've said this before, it's a choose your own adventure. Oh, Diana Richardson here. It, uh, now we're having a party right now. Diana has made it. Welcome, Diana. Good to see you. So if, so if you're offering stuff that people are learning from, if you're offering educational bits, whether it's part of a mini course or whether it's more informal than that, you know that people learn differently in different situations and some people prefer some methods over another. So easy then to go in whatever video you've just, uh, whatever video you've just recorded for the messenger bot, go in, take out, rip out the audio track. It's different in different programs. It depends on what you're using. I use Camtasia. It's really three clicks of a button and I can have an audio track that's that matches my video. Um, I will, I do that. I do that for stuff. When I am shooting a video for learning inside my bot, I've always put an audio track to you just because it, uh, it's a choose your own adventure. It's a, what do you, what are you going to gain out of this adventure and, and giving people as many choices that you can give them without, you know, getting them to suffer from overwhelm. You don't want to give people the same material 47 times, but two times, you can do this, my friend. You can do this. So now uh, here is a bravery test. Yes, I'm completely stealing this from Bob Ross, but here's your bravery test with audio, my friends. I want you to think about something that you could present to your bot subscribers if you already have a bot. If you don't already, then this is still a really good exercise to have because it's one of the foundational things that I teach people when we're building bots together. It is this, what is, what is that value proposition that only you can give people? If you were given one minute to teach the most important thing you could teach people, what would it be? For me, um, for me, when I was back technology coaching, I'll give you an example because that'll help you kind of put it in real life a little bit. For me, the biggest thing that I wanted to tell people when I was just doing technology coaching wasn't into bots yet, but it was teaching people technology. It was this, that, listen, the reason that sometimes computers are difficult is not because of you and your brain power, it's because people made these programs who didn't necessarily run them through other people first. Uh, it is because sometimes people who are incredibly smart 
think that everything is super obvious and that's why you can't find that button it's not that there's anything wrong with you most of my most of my folks when i was technology coaching they couldn't find something they put it back on themselves immediately i should be able to find where to do this you know what no no um the opposite is true sometimes the thing that you're working with was made badly and that's the reason you can't find the button so taking taking that okay what was my most important thing that i could teach people going in take something like that figure it out what figure out what it is for yourself and then put that into an audio clip put that into the bot just as a broadcast let everybody know uh what it is what is the most important thing that you teach doing this will it will again it will humanize your bot a little bit which is always what you want it'll tell people kind of where you're coming from and it'll allow you to experiment just a little bit with audio it does not need to be a long clip one minute two minutes just like what i just did there that's totally plenty people will be able to people will be able to kind of see where you're coming from i have a friend who is uh annie passanisi ruggle she is really a, a fan of posts uh and uh, emails and other other kinds of things uh, that you put out to people other types of content that doesn't have always have a call to action at the end Sometimes this is just, hey, I thought you'd get some value out of this. Here you go. Uh, thanks for being in my world. Those kinds of things draw people to us. If there's always a call to action, if there's always a, you know, come here, buy this thing, take my course, all of this stuff. If there's always something at the end, um, you know, that creates a certain of type of relationship. But if you just just put something together that is really kind of core to you how you operate what you want to tell people put that together as an audio file it'll take you less than two minutes to record put it out there in your bot and i'll guarantee you you'll get a response from that um so those are those are kind of those are my thoughts on audio. I uh, love using audio myself. It just, it makes your bot uh, a variety, a place where people can have choices and variety. No other marketing medium does this, you guys. You don't get like the paint palette of what should, what color shall I use today? What tools shall I use today? When you're writing an email, you're pretty much always writing an email. I mean, you might pop an audio or pop a video in there every once in a while, but most emails are written. Uh, other types of stuff, most, you know, most social media posts, they follow a pattern. But with this, a bot gives you tools. A bot gives you some things that you can use together sometimes, just like with audio and video together, ripping off the, the audio track and using that for some so sort of education you're putting out there. That stuff, uh, create something that is unique, uh, create something that is yours, uh, that you can put out there for people. So I urge you, uh, urge you to try everything. I urge you to experiment. Listen, you can't fail. You can't fail on this. The only way that you can fail with a bot is to abandon it. So do not abandon a bot. Abandon a bot. Okay. I'm adding bot onto everything now. Let's see what folks have to say. Aaron says, people always want to feel their scene. What a great way to connect with your people. Absolutely. You know, if I got on right now and, uh, you know, recorded a, a, a little one minute message, uh, gave a little one message to a one minute message to Aaron, you know, she'd feel seen and heard. And, uh, and that's, that's the kind of solid relationships that you want to build through messenger bots. To me, I know there are a lot of other teachers out there who will teach you a lot of other types of things with bots. For me, I have never, I've never known my people this well. I have never felt more in control of my content and in, and, and feel like I was saying effective things. Isn't it difficult to shout into the void? Isn't it difficult to say, well, I hope people respond to this. It is. It's too difficult. And uh, switching to bots will be helpful. So if you have an interest in that, 
I would love it if you would talk to me about that. I would love it. Uh, in fact, if you're interested, type live. Just type live in the comments. What that will do is it will give you the ability to get little show reminders uh, when I go online, Tuesday, Thursday, 1 o'clock Central. And I'm also going to start sending one for a show I'm doing on Wednesdays uh, right here on the Black Belt Bots page with Stephen Healy. We are building a bot together. Uh, he is he is my client, so to speak, uh, and I am his bot builder. And we decided to do this experiment uh, in public because it'll show you what are the real questions that I'm asking when uh, bots are being built. What are the real considerations that are, are that we are having as we're building this bot for the live video hub? So, if you'd like reminders type live in the comments. If you want to connect with me, ask me some questions, type live in the comments as well, and then write me your questions right in the messenger bot. Just you and me will see those. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and we can take it from there. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. Um, so great. What a great show today. You guys, you're the greatest audience ever. Uh, thank you for showing up today. The rest of the week's going to be a great week. Tomorrow, part five of Building the Bot uh, with Stephen Healy. And hopefully, I'm hoping, he put a couple of people through a test run uh, on Friday. So um, I'm hoping to hear how that went and uh, hear how we might improve a little bit and show you. Uh, I think that we'll, we'll get the glimpses of a finished product tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, show up right here about 11 o'clock. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, and then, of course, we'll do this show on Thursday. So thank you again for coming. You guys are the best audience ever. And uh, that's it. That's it for now. Please do let me know if you have any comments. If you're watching the replay and if you have any questions, type them in there because I'll get to them. And uh, until tomorrow, I will see you in a bot.